In this video, you'll learn how to embed YouTube videos directly on your Beehive website using the YouTube RSS block. With this element, you can automatically display the latest YouTube videos from any channel or playlist on your website. For example, you can showcase your own YouTube videos on your homepage, feature educational content that complements your website, or highlight videos from other creators you recommend on your website. Let's get straight into it. To get started, log into your Beehive account and click on Website and Builder. From here, navigate to the page you want to add YouTube videos to, then click on the plus icon in the top left corner of your screen. Now look for the YouTube RSS feed element and drag it into the website editor. Once you've added the YouTube RSS feed element to your page, you'll see the configuration options on the right hand side. First, you need to choose the type, either channel or playlist. If you select channel, the element will display the latest videos from a specific YouTube channel. Now, if you show playlists, it'll show videos from a specific YouTube playlist. Depending on what type you select, you'll either need to enter the channel ID or playlist ID in the field provided. To find a YouTube channel ID, go to the YouTube channel you want to feature and look at the about section of that channel. If you click more in the about section, you'll be able to locate the channel ID from here. Now for a playlist ID, go to the YouTube playlist you want to embed and click on the playlist title. Then you'll need to copy the playlist ID from the URL. What you're looking for is the string of characters that comes after list equals in the URL. Once you find the ID you're looking for, make sure to copy and paste it in the correct field. Once you've configured the source of the videos, you can now customize how the videos appear on your website. All the settings you'll need will be on the right hand side. And in the layout section, you can set how many videos to display by adjusting the count number. You can also choose how many columns to display the videos in. Now the gap setting controls the spacing between the videos and the padding setting adds space around the entire element. Under the card section, you can further customize the appearance of each individual video card. You can adjust the gap between elements within each card, add padding around the content, and even customize the border and corner radius to match your website's design. Now lastly, you have the option to customize the video thumbnail image, including showing a play button and selecting the play action. There are two different types of play actions, open link and open modal. The open link option will open the video in a new tab after a user clicks on the thumbnail. Meanwhile, the open modal option opens the video in a pop-up view experience after a user clicks on the thumbnail. Now that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to check out the other website builder tutorials on our YouTube channel.